Hello, hello, and welcome to Art Snack. Art Snack is that time of day when we take just a short break from our hectic schedule to talk about art. Hello, hello, and welcome to Art Snack. Art Snack is that time of day when we take just a short break from our hectic schedule to talk about art. My name is Jenny Lynn James, and I'm an artist who enjoys painting in acrylic and making my characters come alive on the canvas. I'm also the creator of the online course, Succeeding as a Fine Artist, Guidance, Tips, and Strategies. This course is perfect for the emerging artists. It helps you on uh, making a business from your art. So please check the inbox and click on the link. Remember to hit that subscribe button so you can be notified every time we speak to another exciting artist from around the globe. With me today, all the way from Parimaribo, Suriname is Sun Sunil Pal Yun. Hello, Sunil. Hello, hello. And thank you so much for joining me today on Art Snack. Now, Sunil, please tell me a little bit about your background as an artist. When did you know that you like to paint, draw, and do artistic activities? So to, to begin uh, itself, um, I was, um, I didn't expect it to become an artist. Uh -huh. I was, uh, I always, uh, my dream was always to become a car designer. But oh. um, <laughs> yes, the, the, those uh, studies we didn't have in Suriname. So yeah. I like to paint and to draw. And that yeah. always uh, on, uh, on uh, when I was at school, I like to paint and to draw. And my uh, art teacher at school, he saw the talent in me and he said to me, why don't you try to improve your talent? Yes. I said, fun, okay, but, uh, but where can I go? So the name Nola Hataman Art Academy came up. Okay. And uh, I went to Nola Hataman Art Academy and I uh, went there for an, uh, approximately four or five years. Yes. And uh, that was in the year 1994, 1995. And I graduated yes. there in 1999. Okay, excellent. And so after this, um, where did um, the path take you? Did you I, um, work as a professional artist or not? <laughs> yes, it has, uh, it has opened a lot of uh, doors you know, for me as an uh, artist after graduation. Yes. Um, the most, uh, the, mostly that uh, I got the chance to also teach at the Nola Hatterman Art Academy. Okay, excellent. So until now, I am also uh, at the, the Nola Hatterman Art Academy as an art teacher. An art teacher, okay. Uh, we had the lots, also lots of collaborations with uh, an, um, international schools. For example, yes. in 2006, 2006, 2007, we had collaboration with the Gerard Rieksel Academy in Amsterdam. Okay. And, uh, I went uh, to Amsterdam, I had a lot of uh, experience there, uh, got the chance to see lots of museums, lots of galleries, uh, how art uh, uh, eventually in, uh, is in the Europe. Yes. And uh, that has given me also a broader view of you know, art. Okay. So I am very, I'm very delighted uh, to the, let's say the path that I have chosen. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much for sharing a bit of your background with us. Now, let us take a look at some of your artwork. I'm going to pull the work up on the screen to share with our audience. So now please tell me a little bit about this image. 
and we'll have the description in English and in Dutch for our Dutch okay. listeners. Okay. So this artwork is an artwork that I have made on a, on a wooden board. It is a burnt out. Uh -huh. Burning for me means destruction. Yes. So yes. What, I, what I'm trying to do here is an, um, the mostly what we see in the time is that war is something uh, going on in the world and mostly the youth is uh, uh, suffers most of it so yes. in this artwork i'm just trying to this youth in the artwork is just trying to say stop this war yes. that is why he is presenting a flower to an upcoming tank right right okay tell us in in dutch now for the dutch viewers Dit werkstuk is meer gebaseerd op oorlog en misdaden die gedaan worden. Hele ten dagen in de wereld zien we allemaal wat gebeuren. En meestal zijn het altijd de jeugd die er onder lijden. En in dit werkstuk wil ik niks anders meegeven. Dat de jeugd een leefbare aarde wil hebben. Vandaar dat die bezig is een bloem aan te bieden aan een opkomende tank. Dank u wel. Okay, now let's look at the next image. What does this represent? Uh, this artwork is uh, represents also uh, uh, the same thing as the, the first one. Yes. But what we also see is in all those art scenes, uh, in all those uh, war scenes, is that sometimes we, we, we people usually use children uh, also in, in war scenes. They give mm -hmm. children to play with guns but not just to play with guns, but also to kill people. So in this artwork, you see, we see a, a, a boy that is swinging on a gun, trying yeah. to play with the gun, but it is not what, uh, what for me as an artist, what play means. In, in, in this case, it is uh, the children literally get guns to kill people. Oh, yes, and this is a collage. It is also a collage, and the first one was also a collage. Okay, okay. Please tell us in Dutch now. Describe the artwork. This uh, artwork is actually mixed. It differs not much from the first. It goes also here on an oorlog scenes, what there are all in the world. What we also see is that there are children also used to be used to fight. Uh, mee te participeren in datgene wat, 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 wat ouderen eigenlijk creëren. En zelf niet gewoon om een geweer om te spelen, maar zelf ook om mensen te doden. Dat is uh, eigenlijk wat ik zo'n beetje met dit uh, werkstuk en dat probeer mee te geven. Dank u wel. Oh, let's look at this um, image now. It's another collage? No, dit is uh, just a painting. A painting. What medium yeah. have you used here? Um, I have. I, I love an uh, graffiti. So this is a, a something like an, a stencil art. Oh. I have used an uh, stencils in my yes. own way, yes. and, and um, I have tried to give this uh, image a, 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 a more dimension uh, itself. Okay. And um, is it a Hindu dancer? Yes. Oh, yes, okay. and, um, uh, as I said before, and, um, the last two years, three years, I have uh, more, I have been more, a, bit, a, a little bit more interested in my own culture. Yes. Identity is something uh, uh, that is uh, very uh, common now, yes. because if you don't understand your own identity, how will you understand others' identity? Yes. And how will you understand other people's culture if you don't understand your own culture? Mm -hmm. So I have uh, the Hindu as a background and I was uh, interested uh, to, to, to have some more, 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 more information about my own background. Yes, your yeah, heritage. In heritage, yes. And that mm -hmm. is, and that is uh, I have tried to start with the dance culture because... Oh. Uh, when our um, uh, ancestors uh, they came to Suriname, yes, and, and uh, th that is one also one of the the cultural inheritance that they brought to Suriname. Yes, and uh, it is uh, the Hindu culture is a very rich uh, culture, 
-hmm. And I have, uh, during my research, I came over a lot of interesting things that I uh, specifically didn't know. Right, so right. So that, uh, that, that uh, gives me more inspiration to... To, to include to, it in the artwork. Yes. Okay. So please tell us in, in uh, Dutch now, describe the artwork in Dutch. Okay. Um, what we're here seeing is actually uh, where it's heel anders than the foregaande werkstuk. Uh, the afgelopen twee jaren, drie jaren, ben ik meer bezig om een beetje over mijn eigen cultuur, mijn eigen identiteit en, uh, en, uh, te onderzoeken. Uh, ik heb de Hindu cultuur als achtergrond, waarbij ik als Hindu eigenlijk zelf ook niet eens veel weet over mijn eigen cultuur. En door die hele onderzoekingsproces heen uh, ben ik heel veel erachter gekomen en uh, die me ook veel inspireert om verder te gaan. En ik heb gekozen voor de danscultuur, omdat onze voorouders ook met danscultuur uh, een van de culturen is waarmee ze naar Suriname zijn gekomen als contractarbeiders. En uh, ik probeer dit dan ook op die manier weer te geven. Oh, dank u wel. So here we have another Hindu dance. So do you know, um, could you tell us what the symbols mean, the, the script? The symbols are on a script. Mm -hmm. Those are the Sanskrit. Sanskrit. Uh, yes. yes, Sanskrit and a script. Uh, as we have the alphabet, like A, B, C. Yes. That is also what we have in the Sanskrit. Yes. And uh, we have, for example, uh, the letter three with the two, and, uh, with the two stripes uh, behind it. Okay. Uh, Yes, that is, for example, the letter A, and the one with an, uh, the one stripe that is the letter A. Okay. A, so uh, just, that is an, uh, the way how you spell it in in, in Sanskrit. Right. And um, is there some reason why you put san the Sanskrit here? Any special meaning? Um. Uh, you, if you see at the work, then uh, you see that uh, lots of uh, those uh, Sanskrit and uh, the scriptures are uh, in the artwork. Yes. Uh, uh, not only the dance culture uh, our ancestors came with, but also the script. So that is also uh, no, that, I, that I put also in the artwork. In the artwork. So here we see another dancer and the Sanskrit. So a beautiful work of art and you use uh, monochrome. So just some. Um... The, color, the color that I use in this artwork is um, uh, what we see now is like all kinds of, all kinds of influence. Okay. And uh, for me as an artist, um, what we are afraid of for me as a Hindu, uh, especially that because of those influences, mm -hmm. people are looking more towards the euro and they are trying to, to have a lot of those influences in their culture. For uh, On itself, it is not a, 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 a big deal. It is also, it is, it is very nice when we can have an, um, lots of mix of music together. Mm -hmm. That is nice, but one thing for me as an artist, as a Hindu artist, the culture, don't forget the, 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 the culture that you have. Try to keep it, because if we will influence a lot of those things, the, 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 your own culture will disappear. That's right, and, and it has is, happened in most yeah. colonized yeah. regions. Yes, and culture that is has something... And language. Yeah, 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 sure, sure. Well, thank you so much for sharing your work with us today. Beautiful work and quite significant when it comes to um, preserving culture. Please um, tell me about past um, exhibitions and any upcoming exhibitions that you have. Uh, after I graduated uh, at the Nola Hatterman Art Academy in 1999, since then until now, I had a lot of uh, group exhibitions. Yes. In Suriname, um, I had one group exhibition in the Netherlands that was okay. uh, in, uh, in the in the Haag. And uh, 
coming year, that is uh, 2023, I will yes. have my uh, second solo exhibition. My mm. first solo exhibition was in 2010 under, yes. the, the, under the title, uh, The Weight of Darkness. And in, um, uh, next uh, coming year, 2023, I will have my second uh, solo exhibition in November. Okay. And it will be under the theme Roots of Migration. And the, 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 the meaning is that in 2024, the exhibition of 2023 will have to go to the Netherlands. Oh, so I am excellent. also preparing enough for that. So it's a lot of new work. Yes, a lot of new works, yes. Okay, well, best of luck with your upcoming exhibition in uh, 2023. You. And how can viewers see more of your work online? Uh, viewers can follow me on Instagram. Mm -hmm. the, my Instagram name, that is Puyun Sunil. Uh, I will spell it in, uh, out. That is P-U-L-J-H-U-N underscore S-U-N-I-L. Puyun okay. Sunil. And people can also find me on the website of uh, Reditex Art Gallery, uh, reditexartgallery.com. Uh, that is just the uh, R A uh, uh, R E A D Y T E X R A R T G A W L A R Y. Okay, thank you so much. So I'll put that information here on the screen so that the viewers can find you online. Viewers can also see more of my work at jennylynjames.com backslash art and on Instagram and Facebook as Art by Jenny Lynn James. Art by Jenny Lynn James. That's all we have time for today. I also encourage viewers to check out my online course on Udemy. Succeeding as a fine artist, guidance, tips, and strategies. The link is in the description box. And remember to hit that subscribe button so you can be alerted every time we interview an exciting artist on Art Snack. Lots of goodies coming up. So please join us on Art Snack every Tuesday on YouTube. Art by Jenny Lynn James. Thanks again, Sunil, for joining me today on Art Snack. Bye, everybody. Bye.